Hello, this is Joe from the Amazon Document DB team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Amazon Document DB. We're going to do the following. First, I'm going to provision an Amazon Document DB cluster in the AWS Management Console. Second, I'm going to provision an EC2 instance that we're going to use to connect to our cluster. Third, I'm going to set up that EC2 instance. Lastly, I'm going to connect to and query our Amazon Document DB cluster. Here's what the demo architecture looks like. We're going to SSH from our laptop to the EC2 instance and then connect to our cluster using the Mongo shell. All right, let's get into it. First, let's provision a cluster in the Amazon Document DB Management Console. Let's click Create and we can select our instance type and the number of instances we want. For this demo, I'm going to select a single instance. Next, I'm going to provide the master username and password. Optionally, I can also look at the advanced settings that include whether or not I want my cluster encrypted or not, or how many days of continuous backup I want. Let's just go with the defaults and create a cluster. While our cluster is being provisioned, let's go create our EC2 instance. I'm going to choose Ubuntu, and a T2 Micro is good enough for this demo. Next, I'm going to review and launch. The only thing that I'm going to change is the security group, and for this demo, I'm going to use my default security group, which enables inbound SSH connections and inbound connections from within my default VPC. Let's go ahead and launch the EC2 instance and use a key pair that I've already set up ahead of time. Let's wait a couple of moments until our EC2 instance is ready. Now that our EC2 instance is running, let's connect to the instance so that we can install the Mongo shell. To do this, I need to first import a public key, create a new list file, update the instance's packages, and then install the Mongo shell. Of course, all of these commands and steps are in the Amazon Document DB documentation. The last thing I'm going to do is download the root certificate so that we can create an encrypted connection to our cluster. Now that we have our EC2 instance set up, let's go back and check on our cluster. Cluster is available, and the instance is also available, so we're all set now. If I click on my cluster, I can get the connection string that I need for the Mongo shell. Let's go back to the EC2 instance, paste the connection string, and type the password that we used to create our cluster. We are now connected to our cluster with the Mongo shell. We can insert a document, and then run a query to retrieve the document again. Thank you for your time. For detailed instructions and to learn more about Amazon Document DB, please see the following links.